What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Saltwater Rookie six month. It's like six, six in like two weeks, I think. But uh, six month update on my 29 gallon bio cube. Now, if you watch the last update, now that update compared to this update, wow, big difference. And that is because if you're following some of the other videos on my channel, you'll know that. I thought my five gallon was leaking, so I took everything out of it and I put it into this tank. So now this tank is a big mismatch of tons of stuff. By the way, this is awesome down here. Check this out. Dwight, that is Dwight, the hermit crab. He's got a little companion there getting some algae off his shell. <clears throat> oh, there's Scooter. He's the man. He just wanders around all day. So anyway... I'm going to give you the tour. I'm going to try to make it quick because I don't like these updates to take a long time. But the first thing I will say is during the five-month update, I was mentioning that my algae was growing fairly quickly. So a couple things I did to combat that, I adjusted my protein skimmer, and now it is skimming much more efficiently. In addition, I added ChemiPure Elite about two weeks ago, and I think that has helped a little bit. I Now I have, I do get some algae growth on the glass, but... Honestly, that's normal. I don't really think you can avoid that completely. But I'm not getting it to the extent that I was getting it before, and I'm also not getting it on the sand. So the getting it on the sand was the biggest issue because it would make it all clumpy and ugh, yucky. But I'm loving the tank right now. It's really awesome. I am looking forward to getting some of these corals out into their own 10-gallon, the 10-gallon nano that I'm starting. I'm looking forward to taking them out and put them in that. So the corals that I have in here can breathe and get some space. But I'm going to take you for a quick tour, or I'm going to go around the horn here. And I'll pretty much show you everything in the tank. So, here is my Kenya tree. Looking very nice. It's grown quite a bit. Here I have a Monty on the side that I traded for. I actually have too many Montys, so I just kind of stuck it there because I don't care about it that much. I have... I don't think I ever showed this. I have an encrusting A can there. It's orange with like a purple center. It's really awesome looking. And it's already split off and you can see a second head starting on the bottom right there. Um, but I got that a few weeks ago for 10 bucks. It was a $10 frag. Up the chain, I've got my frog spawn, which is looking nice. My cabbage leather, which as always is huge and very cool looking. Up there, there's another Monty kind of on, the, on that plug. Here are some zoas. They, if you notice, they are almost covering that rock now. And when I bought them, they were kind of half covering the rock. So they've grown quite a bit. Uh, I guess I'll go down here. There is my mushroom. I don't think I've shown that on film either. I bought that a while ago, but it, it's kind of huge. And it's like split color, which is cool. One half is purple, and the other half is like a yellowish, yellowish green and brown. So that's pretty neat. <clears throat> There's my original Monty, and I'll come back to the bottom things later because they're my favorite. Okay, so back there. Oh, up there first I've got my GSP growing on my Aquamag that I recently cleaned off. There is my Hammer Coral, which has grown quite a bit, and it's looking great. It's doing awesome. I'm really pumped about that. This is another newer coral that was in my 5-gallon for a while. It is a candy cane. Also looking great. Three heads on that and they're really puffed up and their tentacles come out at night and all that good stuff. Here we've got the infamous torch coral that when I originally started up the tank it took a while for this puppy to open and now that it has it's starting to grow and I think it'll be really big and beautiful someday so I'm looking forward to that growing some more. This is a toadstool leather and now I'm not sure why it's closed. It's perfectly healthy. But I've noticed, and you know, this is a word of advice for people, that if all of the corals in your tank are doing well and you have one coral that is closed up, as long as it's not like an SPS or something that needs perfect water quality, it's more than likely just because it like needs a breather. So my Kenya tree has actually closed for a day or two at a time, and at first it like really freaked me out. I was really worried about it. And then it came back and it was perfectly fine. So with something like this, I'm not too worried about it. I'm sure in a day or two, it will open back up. And uh, it looks really awesome too when it's open. So, Okay, and then I got one more around here on the side. 
This is the Alta Yuma mushroom that I had in the five gallon tank. I just kind of put it in that little crevice for now. Again, I'll be moving that out once I get the other tank set up. And now let's go to the middle. So, oh my gosh, look at him. Get off of that thing, dude. He's freaking sitting on the plate. Get off of there, you dumb dumb. Oh boy. Okay. What's up, Scooter? Yeah. What's up, Dwight? I can't. There we go. Yeah, what's up, Dwight? Dwight the Hermit Crab. Okay. Um, those are my Sunny D. That's my, my Sunny D's. They're like polyps. I don't know. They're just called Sunny D's. Those are really awesome, especially under the blue light. There is the Blasto Muso. Blasto, I had that in the 5 gallon nano. There is my plate coral, since I've had from the beginning. Looking very nice. It's kind of receded a little bit because all those clowns are walking all over it like dum dums. And there, may I proudly introduce my favorite addition to my coral lineup an open brain coral. Oh yeah, I've been waiting to get one for a while. I didn't think I'd get one until I got a bigger tank. However, there was a new store in the area that opened up and he had one and it was a really great deal. It looks awesome under the blue light and I was really pumped to pick it up. So, there is my open brain coral. So, let me zoom out and zoom in and focus here again. At six months in to my foray into salt water and corals and all that jazz, I am really pumped. I don't know about you guys, but I think that uh, right now everything looks really great. The corals are doing well. I don't have to do a ton of maintenance every week. And that's exactly what I was shooting for when I was planning to build this tank. So, luckily, aside from a few hiccups in the road, I lost a couple of fish along the way because I was a little overzealous with adding them to the tank. Everything's been going great, and I'm really pumped at the results so far. So I will continue to update you guys in the coming months, maybe in a month or two from now. Some of these corals will be moved out into the 10 gallon nano and I'm sure we'll see a lot of growth in the ones that stay in this tank and that have been in this tank from the beginning. So you know, once again, I'd like to thank you guys for following the channel. I hit over 10,000 views a few days ago and I hit over 200 subs, which I'm really excited about. So. Thank you guys for tuning in and checking everything out, checking out my tanks, and uh, joining me on this saltwater journey. So if you have any comments or questions or opinions, please leave them below. And I look forward to hearing from you. If you guys are setting up tanks of your own, definitely let me know. Send me a video or a picture. I'd like to check it, check it out. Now that I'm into the hobby, I'm like super into it. So I'm really pumped about other people setting up tanks too and all that stuff. So. Once again, I'm the Fish Tank Guy. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you on a future update of the Saltwater Rookie Series. And until then, um, I don't know, have a good day or a good night or whenever you're watching this. I don't know, I never know how to end these things, so I'll just say, uh, see ya!